Number 41. Visit the PHET density simulation, which is this website right here, and select the same volume blocks. A. What are the mass, volume, and density of the yellow block? Okay, so first thing you should do is go on this website, which will be what you see on the right-hand side. So this little simulation with this block over here in the, in the pool of water, it seems. So you have to go on there and you first have to click same volume blocks. So that's going to be found in the upper right hand corner. It's the third one down. It says same volume. So I'm just going to click that. And now my blocks turn into four different colors. So they want to know what the mass volume and density of the yellow block is. All right. So I see that I have A through E. So I'm just going to make some room. So I'll say A, B, C. D, and then I'll put E at the bottom over here. So first things first, we have to find the mass of the yellow block. And wouldn't you know, if I bring the yellow block up right here, it says how much it weighs or what's its mass on the block itself. So the yellow block has a mass of 8.00 kilograms. Kg is kilograms. So I'm going to put over here yellow block mass is 8.00 kilograms. Now that's checked off. Now we need to find the volume. Now we can't find the volume by length times width times height because we don't have a um, unit for measurement for that, like a ruler or anything like that, but we can use volume by displacement. So just as a quick refresher, of, uh, bleh, refresh, bleh, refresher, if you want to find the volume by displacement, you have to just subtract the change from final volume and initial volume. So if you want to find a volume of a specific object, it will be the volume, the final volume, minus the initial volume before you put your block, in this case, into the water. So in this case, I'm going to say volume would equal something minus something else, final minus initial. Well, I look at the pool here on the right-hand side, and it seems that the volume for the pool is 100.00 liters already. That's initial, so that's your I value. So for all of these, your initial is always going to be 100 liters. So it's going to be something minus 100.00 liters. Now we just got to find out what the volume of the yellow block is. So I'm going to bring it all the way up. Let's make this fun, and we're going to slam it down. Let's see if it's going to float or sink. Three, two, one. Wow, it sank all the way to the bottom. But look at the dent. Look at the um, the volume. It now is 105.00 liters. So that's your final volume. I will put that over here. So now we can find that the volume of the yellow block. I'll just put YB is 105 minus 100. So it'd be 5.00 liters. So that's a check. Now we got to find the density of the yellow block. We use our handy dandy density formula D equals M divided by V. D is density, M stands for mass, and V stands for volume. I'll just put VOL. Now in here they didn't specify whether they wanted grams per centimeters cubed or grams per mils, or for that matter kilograms per liter, so I'm just going to leave the units as they are. So I'm going to say Density, D, equals mass divided by volume. So we have 8.00 kg divided by 5.00 liters. And that will get you your density. So I'm going to put that at the bottom. D equals, get out calci, which is the name for my calculator, 8 divided by 5. You get 1.60. I'm not going to worry about sig figs right now because we didn't do any um, questions with sig figs, but once we do those questions, it's probably later in the chapter, then we'll worry about sig figs. So 1.0, 1.60 kilograms per liter. And I'll highlight that. That's the answer to the density for A. So I'll highlight the mass was 8 kilograms, the volume was 5 liters, density was 1.60. So we can check that off. Now let's work on part B. They ask for literally the same thing. What are the mass, volume, and density of the red block? 
So I'm going to do everything over again. But now I'm going to take the yellow block out and I'm going to play around with the red block. So the red block, just like before, if I raise this up, the red block has a mass of 2.00 kg, so 2.00 kilograms. So I will write that down. So red block, that looks like red bluk, <laughs> B-L-O-C-K. Mass is 2.00 kilograms. So that's cool. I'll highlight that. That's the answer for the mass. Now let's do the volume by displacement. So volume would be whatever it is submerged, the final volume, minus the initial. And the initial is 100.00 liters. Now we just got to submerge it in the pool. So I'm just going to say the volume of the red block, RB. So let's take it. Smash it down. Let's see if it sinks or floats. Ooh, okay. So this one is floating, which means that it is less dense than whatever the density of the pool is. In this case, it's water. So it's going to be one kilogram per liter. But now, I don't like this number that they give us, 102.00 liters. The reason why I don't like that is because in order to take a volume of a block, it has to be completely submerged. Can't just be floating. You see how when I took this down, it changed the volume? So which number is correct? It's actually the one in which you have to submerge it down. So I'm going to push it all the way down, and we have to take that number as the full volume. So the volume that I'm going to take is 105.00 liters. So that's what's going to go here, 105.00 L. So when you do the subtraction, the volume of the red block is 5.00 liters. So it's the same volume as the other one. Now we just got to find the density. So just like we used before, density equals mass divided by volume, m divided by b. The mass was 2.00 kilograms, and the volume was 5.00 liters. So when I do that in the calculator, 2 divided by 5, I get 0 0.4, 0 0.400 kilograms per liter. Box that off. I'll just highlight it in blue. That's the answer for the density for the red block. So all of these are now answered. Mass, volume, density. Perfect. Now we're on C. List the block colors in order from smallest to largest mass. All right. So I'm just going to do that up here. I'm going to say smallest all the way to largest mass. So smallest mass to largest mass. I'm going to take this red block out of the pool. And let's see. So, from left to right, the blue is 6 kilograms, the yellow is 8, the red is 2 kilograms, and the green is 4 kilograms. So it looks like the lowest, or the smallest mass, would be the lowest number. So in this case, the red block has the smallest number because it's 2 kilograms. So I'm going to say red is less than, what comes next, the 4 kilogram green one, right? So red is less than the green one, the green block, which is less than the, now we're down to either blue or yellow. Blue comes next because six is less than eight. And finally, the yellow block would have the largest mass. So that's the answer for C. Red block has a smaller mass than the green block, which has a less mass than blue block, and then finally yellow has the most mass, the largest mass. So that's the answer for C, by just looking at those letters. Now here, list the block colors in order from lowest to highest density. So I'm going to just set this up. I'm going to say low, lowest to highest, and now this is everything about density. So I'm just going to say lowest We'll just say D versus highest D. 
Okay. So we can kind of get somewhat of an answer if we see whether something will sink or float. If something floats, that means that it has a big density, a bigger density than the substance that's contained in, um, that's holding the blocks, in this case, the water. If something floats, that means that it has a less, um, less density. So let's throw all these in. One, two, three, come on guys, and four. Okay. So now if I put these all out, we can kind of list some of them from less dense to most dense. Which one do you think is the less dense one? Well, the less dense one is always going to be that the one that's floating the most. And that looks like it's the red block. You see how it's a little bit higher than the green block? So that means that the red block would have the um, least density. Then what comes next? Oh, well, the one that's floating the next or more is the green block. You see how the yellow one and the blue one, they both sank, so they have higher densities. So the next one is green. And now, technically, we don't know which one is more dense between the yellow and the blue because they both sank all the way to the bottom. So what we can do is we can actually find out the density of the blue block and just compare it to our answer in letter A because we found out the density for the yellow block. So let's do that math up here. So I'm just going to say blue block. We'll do this quick. So the blue block had a mass M of 6.00 kilograms because that's what it said on the block if I bring this out. And now if you notice, the initial volume was 100, just like it always is for this example. And when I drop it down, it went to 5. So by volume of displacement, again, it was the 105.00 liters minus the 100. So the volume of the blue block, so VBB, would equal 5 liters. Now we could just quickly find the density. The density would be mass divided by volume. The 6.00 kilograms divided by 5.00 liters. So 6 divided by 5. We get 1.2. So I'll say 1.20 kilograms per liter. Okay, and I'll highlight that. So for the blue block, we have a density of 1.2 versus the yellow block has a density of 1.6 over here, right? So which one has a higher density? Well, obviously the one that has a higher number, which is the yellow block. 1.6 is a higher number than 1.2. So the blue block should go next, and then I'll just squeeze it in over here. The yellow one has the highest density. And that's the answer for D. Red to green to blue to yellow from lowest to highest density. Okay, that one's done. Last but not least, how are mass and density related for blocks of the same volume? Now, if you've noticed, all of these blocks have the same exact volume, right? For the yellow block, the volume was 5 liters. For the red block, the volume was 5 liters. The volume for the blue block, which we found out, was 5 liters. And if you do the math for the green block, you will find out that it's 5 liters. So what do mass and density have in common, or how are they related, if your, your substances all have the same volume? Well, look at what happened here. The smallest mass was the red block, and the lowest density was also the red block. Vice versa, the largest mass was the yellow block, and the highest density was also the yellow block. So, for the same volume, if you have a low mass, like the red one did, that equated or equal to a low density. I'll just put capital D. And then, I'll just put a divider here, if we look for the yellow one, the higher the mass, 
the higher the density was. That's how they're related. The lower the mass, the lower the density, and then vice versa, the higher the mass, the higher the density, but it has to be from the same volume. That's how they're related. Guys, I hope this helped out. I had a lot of fun with this. Go and check this simulation out. It's quite fun. Um, if this helped you in any way, hit that subscribe button because we'll be giving you tens of more answers that I'm sure that you guys probably want. And like always, I'll see you all in the next question. Have a great day, guys. See you later.